All right, so hello, hello everyone. Hello, good evening. Good evening, uh, Tania, Sulma, and Raquel. Good evening. Are you happy that this is the last, the last date of class <laughs> for the year? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be, right? You should be a little bit happy right now. Okay. All right, so let me just one second over here. You know, I really hope that uh, most of your classmates uh, join the class uh, tonight. All right. So just one second. You know, uh, today is the last class, as you know, right? I mean, this evening is the last class and we also have a lot of things to do, okay? Let me ask you, how many of you already uh, took the final exam? I think that maybe everybody took the exam. Am I correct? Yes, I finished. Finished already, right? Okay. So what, what we're going to do, uh, let's say like the second thing you're gonna be doing uh, this evening in this class is to take the final exam, but I'm going to share with you the quiz. I mean, it, it's not going to be from the platform, so I'm going to send you the, the link, which I, uh, it's the same quiz at Inglés Corporativo. What I did is I put it on a form. So I did the listening, the multiple choice questions and everything. So that, that is going to be like the final exam for you, but it has to be like a personal experience. Okay. Yes, I know that you already uh, finished, let's say Tanya, I know that you already finished the platform and everything and that you passed the level, but let's see uh let's test yourself you know your own knowledge on the final exam so i'm going to do that all right let's say like around a15 so if you already finished the platform you're gonna be taking the quiz i mean the final exam for the second time and in this case only you and i will know the score okay so in that way i'm going to have an idea on, on what you need to practice and, and also you you can have that in mind and for the next module you know what to pay attention to all right so that's the idea over here que sirva como de self assessment es decir auto evaluación esa es la idea a self assessment all right okay so that being said let me just one second over here all right
let me look for the uh, for the right presentation yes that's the one and here we go so english corporativo intermediate intermediate um, module week number fourth last day of class thursday november 10th or today is 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 i'm sorry december the 10th is it the 10th today right yeah it's the 10th over here there's a mistake over there and here we go uh so remember the platform clo closes to that uh today at midnight which is uh 12 a.m but you know this already i have the word of the evening for you right now so just take a look at this okay so just one second what does it mean way to go way to go way to go any idea i'm not going to show it to you right now all right but the word is way to go do you have any idea what that expression means way to go let me send it to the whatsapp all right way to go okay and let me also send this to the uh to the meeting chat all right. So what's the meaning of, of that expression, way to go? Can somebody tell me? Sin buscarlo en Google, ¿verdad? Sin buscarlo en Inter. Any idea? Alguien que diga, sí, yo pienso que significa esto, significa lo otro. Ajá. Um, no. Camino a seguir. Camino a seguir. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your feedback, Obador, Tania. All right, thanks. Anybody else who would like to say, yeah, I think it means, I don't know, something else, Obador. Ajá. Uh -huh. So besides Tanya, what what other idea do you have about this word? Like way to go. So Tanya thinks that the way to go means camino a seguir. Let's see, Zulma, I don't know, Raquel, Adriana, Jose, any idea what this expression means? Yes. No teacher. No idea over here. No. Okay, not a problem over there. Way to go means congratulations. All right. Way to go means congratulations. So if I tell you tonight, and this is the last day of class, I'm going to tell you good job. You know, congratulations. You passed the level. All right way to go tiene un camino por delante you know way to go okay a way to go literally it means uh camino por delante verdad o camino a seguir but it, it, we actually mean congratulations you know good job good job all right or congrats so that's the meaning of, of way to go so if for example if you uh graduate from college or from high school your friends are going to tell you, hey, way to go, way to go. Verdad? Way to go. And that's it, all right? So that's the word that I have for you this. Uh, let's move forward over here, all right? So I remember yesterday we were practicing uh, with, with this, all right, with the comparisons uh, of equality, like to say my house has three bathrooms and your house has three bathrooms. To say that the two houses have the same number of bathrooms, we say my house has as many bathrooms as your house. Okay? Or if, if you if you were the opposite, you you would like to say, or you will have to say, my house doesn't have as many uh, bedrooms as yours or as your house. Okay? So that's something that we studied yesterday. Now. Uh, 
I think we we're going to start with this first, okay? With these expressions. And let me just explain this briefly because it's important for you to understand this grammar and to use it, you know, that's actually more, more you know, more important or the most important thing that you, that you can do. So we also use as and as, okay, in positive sentences and in questions. For example, you say, I'm sorry, I'm late. I got here as fast as I could. Esta expresión sería útil que usted se la aprenda, okay? This expression, it would be great if you learned this. There's plenty of food. You can have as much as you want, all right? Va al 24 y le dicen sírvase, ¿verdad? Hay suficiente comida. So there's no problem over here. And the other one, can you send me the information as soon as possible, all right? So I'm going to try to, to explain this to you right now as soon as possible. Or so that's the point over here. Or you see this one, uh, petrol is twice as, as expensive as it was a few years ago, etc. Okay. And all right. So right now, what you're going to do in purse, okay, uh, this is going to be, let's say, the second exercise, all right? And I'm going to write a number over here. So we're, we're going to continue practicing this. All right. So we're going to start with this exercise, okay, number two. And the first one is going to be this general listening quiz about apartments for rent, okay? So what I'm going to do for you right now, I'm going to send the access to this, and you're going to be taking this quiz individually just to practice, okay? And you see, the first question is, what's the main topic of the conversation? Let's see. And uh, so, Tanya, let me ask you, could you please help me read Question one, two, and three, please. Just a question without the without the options over there, if you don't mind. What is the main topic of the conversation? All right. Why doesn't Anne like her currency mm -hmm. apartment? Current apartment. Mm -hmm. How much money does Anne want to pay for rent? Thank you so much. So as you can see, the first one is what's the main topic, the main idea of the conversation. Are they searching for a new apartment? Es decir, están buscando un nuevo apartamento? Uh, or is it about the cost of rent near universities? O el costo, el, el costo de la vivienda? Or the problems with living in an apartment? Is it the problems? Is it the cost? Or the search for an apartment? Okay. Number two. Why uh, Anne does not like her current apartment, o sea, el, 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 donde ella vive, el apartamento actual. The neighborhood is noisy, okay? It's too expensive. It's far for campus. So we have three options. Maybe because it's far, it's too expensive, or, it's, or the neighborhood is too noisy, right? Number three, as you said, uh, Tania, how much does she want to pay for the rent? Is it $200? I mean, no more than 200, let's say 150 maybe. Is it around 200, let's say $190 maybe, or a little more than 200. So in other words, what is the budget? ¿Cuál es el, cuál es el eh, presupuesto que ella tiene? All right, the budget, okay, the budget. But the, it, this is our one, two, and three questions. We have more questions about this, okay? Um, uh, on the uh, right hand corner of your screen, ¿verdad? le voy a poner aquí que esta es la número cuatro. All right, so this is number four. So Tanya, could you please read the question over here? Number four and number five, if you don't mind. And uh, want to rent an apartment that mm -hmm. uh, to help um, Roger is going to Thank you so much. So as you can see, this conversation is between two friends. Anne is the one that is looking for an apartment and then she's asking for advice, es decir, le está pidiendo consejo a Roger. So she's asking for advice from Roger. And question number four is going to ask, uh, Anne wants to rent an apartment that maybe is close to campus or has already furniture. Furniture means que esté amue amueblado, all right? That has already furniture. The next one, 
or she wants to rent an apartment that is in a good neighborhood. She prefer. Okay, the distance, es decir, que está cerca, close to campus, o sea, close to, cerca, o a la par, already has furniture, o que esté amueblado, or if it's a good neighborhood. All right. And the last one that you read, Tanya says to help and Roger is going to maybe call his friend, check out an apartment, es decir, revisar, echarle un vistazo a un apartamento, check out, or look online for rentals. Okay. Now you have an idea. Let me send this information to you. You're going to do this individually. Okay. And, and then I'm going to send you to practice in first. All right. Are we uh, clear up to this point right now? Estamos bien. Are we okay right now? Yes. All right, thanks. Appreciate your feedback over here. Just one second. Let me send the access information to the quiz in a second. So just one moment. Just... All right, found it. I'm gonna send this uh, both to WhatsApp and also to the meeting chat. I, I sent it already to WhatsApp and then I'm sending it to the meeting chat over there. All right. If you like, please mute your microphones. Uh, you can activate the camera and just listen to that, please. Let me share the questions with you, all right. All right, so uh, let me know when you're ready and if you want to share the responses with me, please. I mean, the answers. Okay. All right, so let me ask you, did you finish already with the quiz? Not yet.
All right, so let me know when you finish, please, so we can uh, share the screen over here. All right, thanks. I'm sorry, who would like to help me uh, with the answers over here on this, on this listening, please? All right, so can somebody help me please with with the answers over here before we, we get to practice this? I don't know, maybe uh, Raquel or Adriana, Edwin, with the list with the responses over here, if you don't mind. In the first, uh, it's a search for a new apartment. Search for a new apartment, right, Raquel? All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about number two? Why doesn't she like her, her current apartment? It uh, is mm -hmm. it's far from campus. Uh, it, it's far from campus, right? Okay. Yeah. And and uh, what about like how much money does Anne want to pay for rent? No more than two hundred dollars. No more than 200, yeah, that's correct. And uh, uh, Anne wants to rent an apartment that? Already has furniture. Already has furniture, right, yes. Like sofa and everything over there. A kitchen and mm -hmm. everything, All right? To help Anne, Roger is going to? Check out an apartment. Check a, take a look at an apartment over there, yes, that's right. So what you're gonna do right now, is you're going to practice the conversation in purse, okay? On this, and then you're gonna be working on this exercise. So let me just uh, repeat this. So you're gonna be working on this conversation, okay? And then you're gonna you're gonna complete this exercise about us like this. And I'm tall, but you're taller. I'm not as tall as you. My salary is high, but yours is higher. So my salary isn't as high as yours. So that's what you're going to do in purse, okay? And this is a speaking activity, all right? So let me let me send the uh, the information to you so you can so you can practice with a partner right away, okay? So one second over here. Once you finish practicing this conversation and you complete the exercise about as and as. Okay, you're gonna come back and I'll be choosing uh, two volunteers, I mean two uh, of you, so you can practice a conversation in front of the class. And once you finish doing that, I'm going to share with you the final exam, which I have in a form. O sea, yo, yo lo voy a mandar el enlace del, del final exam para que cada quien lo haga como una autoevaluación. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm sending this to you right now. Let me send it to the WhatsApp, okay? And uh, that's a script, okay? And I'm gonna send it to Zoom as well, all right? So just one moment over here. 
El primer enlace que les mandé eh, era el quiz. The second one right now is the script okay, of the conversation. All right, so I'm going to make the rooms right now. And here we go. So please join the rooms. Uh, rooms are open right now. Thank you. Right, so Jose, if you don't mind, go ahead, please and join the uh, the rooms right now. Thank you. You have been assigned to one room, and if you don't join, uh, so one of your classmates won't have anybody to practice with. All right. Utilities, utilities. If I could, oh, um, I prefer to rent a furnished apartment. Mm, and anything else? Yeah, I need a parking space. Well, I know there is an apartment complex around the corner that saying to have a foul vacancies. A few. A few? A few, uh huh. A few vacancies. Back. Mm -hmm. I drove my there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. So if okay. you finish Hello. if you if you finish once, yeah, practice a second time, please. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello, Roger. This is Anne. Oh, hi, Anne. Um, how have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well, that's what I'm calling about. Uh, you see, I decided to look for a new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I thought you liked the apartment. Oh, I do. But it's a little farm for the campus, and the commute is just killing me. Killing. Me. Uh, take your time. Parking space. Uh, well, I know this apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacants. I rode by there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks, Alun. No problem. Okay, if you want, we can change the role now. If you want. Si, si quieres, cambiamos los roles y practicamos de nuevo. Bye. Hello. Hello, Roger. This is Ann. Oh, hi. And how, how have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well, that's what I call it now. You see, I just see to look the new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I threw you like the apartment. Anything else? Yes, I need a parking spell. Spells. Spells. Well, I know space. space. Well, I know there are 
there, there's an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I, I drove by there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. Creo que ya mandó el otro, ¿verdad? Yeah, I did already. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, Zulma, you say vacancies. 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 Vacan vacancies. Yes, vacancies. 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 Like, like vacation, right? Like vacation. Very similar to that. Okay. Right. Vacantes. That's how you say it. All right. Yes, I sent I sent this image already. Uh, this one, please. Once you finish uh, doing this, we're gonna come back to the main station. So I I don't know, maybe some of you, or I don't know, maybe you, Sulma, or or you, Adriana, can help us uh, with the with the conversation. Okay, and then but right now let's let's do this, please. Let me let me try to help you. All right. It says okay. I'm told I'm told. It says number one. Number one, I'm tall, mm -hmm. uh, but you are taller. So I'm gonna say I'm not as tall as you. What about number two? Imagine, Sulma, my salary is high, but yours, Sulma, is higher. So, in other words, my salary is in grammatica as adjective high, and then as yours. What is your salary? Okay. But what about number three? You know a bit about cars, but I know more. Okay. So you don't, then you need the verb. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So you don't know about cars. Uh huh. Uh, teacher, uh, yes. do you know about car is when, when, for example, he know about cars, yes. but I, uh, pero ahora sabe más, algo así dice, ¿verdad? Están comparándose dos personas, o sea, eso es lo que está pasando. O sea, es, yo le digo, o sea, usted sabe acerca de carros, pero yo sé más. ¿Qué significa? Mm -hmm. Significa que usted no sabe tanto como yo. Eso significa. Entonces, so what we say, uh, Sulma and, uh, and Adriana is, va a decir, as much as, as much as, as much as, as much as. Cualquier cosa puede decir y puede decir as much as, tanto como, tanto como, as much as. All right, so you don't know uh, about cards. As much. Uh huh. Can you can you finish the sentence? You don't know. Uh, you don't. You. You don't. You don't know as no. You don't as no. You you don't know as much about cars. As. As I know. As you. As I. No, as I know. Ah, yo estoy as, diciendo, as I know. Ajá, usted no sabe tanto mm -hmm. acerca de carros como yo. You don't know, mm -hmm. as, you know as much about cars as I know. Okay. So it, it has to make sense. It has to make sense. Y de hecho mm -hmm. es literal como se escribe. So you, you don't change the order. What about number four? Yes. First is the bear and second is the act, the comparison. And then as, yes. As, eh, y si es un noun, de ahí tiene que ir toda la palabra, digamos. Uh, por ejemplo, puede decir, this house is, doesn't have, I would say, this house or my house doesn't have as many bedrooms mm -hmm. as your house, Zulma. Okay. Or, okay. or I can say time. I don't have as much time, as much time, as much, man, as much time as you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y si le digo, usted, usted no sabe mucho de celulares como yo. You don't know. Okay. You don't know. 
¿Y qué sigue después? As, si le quiere, ajá. As, as much about as selfies. Much. As, as much. I, ab as I know. Ajá, as, as I much know. Correct. As much about cell phones as I know. Yes, just like that. Mm. Fíjese aquí, dice, there's plenty of food. Uh -huh. En esta, dice, hay mucha comida. There's plenty of food. Yo le digo, agarre lo que quiera. You can have as much as you want, tanto como guste. Mm. Number four. So, yes. So try to continue. I'm going to go help somebody else over here. Okay. 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 Eso, eso, igual. Verde. <laughs> 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 All right. Estoy bien confundida con el tema. That's okay. I can help you. Don't worry about it. Vaya, fijémonos en, en el cuadrito anterior que le voy a compartir. Fíjense, por favor. Dice, I'm sorry I'm late. I got here as fast as I could. Esta es una frase dada, ¿verdad? Llegué tan rápido como pude. ¿Ok? Eh, pero también tenemos esta otra frase. There's plenty of food. Usted el 24 de diciembre le dice, hay mucha comida. There's plenty of food. You can have as much as you want. Llega su invitado, so your, your guest gets home. Y usted le dice, you can have as much food, as much as you want, tanto como guste. Si usted quiere comparar que usted sabe, que usted tiene, va a decir as much or as many. For, for example, eh, eh, uh, Raquel. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me maybe how many pair of shoes you have? Let's see, uh, high heels, tacones, digamos, high heels. Uh -huh. uh, what do I have to say? <laughs> I mean, just, just say me a number. Let's say I have 20 per of, of, of shoes, or I have 10, 5. Uh, okay, or yeah, 10, 10 pairs. You have 10 pairs over there. What about you, yeah. uh, Tanya? How many pairs of high heels do you have? ¿Cuántos pares de tacones tienes? It is um, five. All right. So Raquel says she mm -hmm. has ten pairs and you have five. Entonces ustedes no tienen mm -hmm. el mismo número, ¿verdad? Entonces puede decir eh, Raquel, I don't have as many pair of high heels as Tania do, does or has. Okay. No tengo tantos mm -hmm. pares de zapatos como. Okay. Imagine this. I'm going to ask you a second question, eh, Raquel. Do you have a uh, free time or do you have a lot of free, free time, let's say, in the evening? Okay. Do you have free time, let's say, on weekdays? Yeah. You do, all right. What about you, uh, Tanya? Yeah. Do, you, do you have a lot of free time, let's say, every day? You do? Yes. yes. Okay. So you can say, I have as much free time as Tanya. Yo, yo soy Raquel y digo, I have as much free time as Tania. Ok, tengo tanto como. Si es eh, algo que no se puede contar como el tiempo o como el, el concepto del dinero, usted dice as much. Si son cosas contables como los zapatos, va a decir as many. Ok. So, so take a look at this. Ajá. Uh -huh. But um, uh, in the sentences third, said, you know a bit about cars, but I know more. So mm -hmm. I think maybe is I don't has know about cars, has you? Yeah, you can say that, but follow the example over here. Follow the example. So you will go. So right now I'm, I'm 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 Jose, right? So and I'm talking to you, uh, right, Raquel. Mm -hmm. So this imagine that I'm speaking to you, and you, you go. So, okay, Raquel, you know a little bit or a bit about cars, but I know more about cars. In other words, 
yo le puedo decir lo mismo en otras palabras. So, in other words, Raquel, you don't know as much about cars as I know. Okay, or, or as me. You so, don't. You don't know. As you much. don't has no. No, you don't has know. Has much. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you you, you don't, don't know, know has much about cars. Mm -hmm. As I as I know. All right. No sabe tanto como yo acerca de los carros. But will I use just uh, one us? <laughs> no, two. You gotta use. You gotta use. Yeah, I know. I see your point over there. You gotta. You gotta <laughs> use. Yeah, yeah. Now be careful with the pronunciation, but don't worry about it. It's pronounced in a different way. <laughs> All right. The point is. Okay. The point is that uh, cualquier palabra que usted ponga aquí, you know, either word that you put, it has to be in between. In this case, it's cars. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. About cars. That's expression order. So mm -hmm. I can tell you, you don't know. Okay, about cars as much as. Mm -hmm. As much as. Yes. Or you don't know. You don't know as much as. You put it. You don't know as much as I as I know about cars. Mm -hmm. You don't know as much as I know it's about easier. cars. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say that. It's easy. It's easy, yeah. right? Like, what about the, the, the next one? We are busy today, but we were busier yesterday. O sea, ayer no tuve nada de tiempo. I didn't have, uh, you know, no free time. So I can tell you, we aren't. Y aquí va a poner el as. as. <laughs> All right. As. <laughs> yeah, be careful. As busy. As busy as yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eso lo buena. Yes. <laughs> yes. El problema es con otros verbos, con, con adjetivos mm. es bien fácil. Dice, I still, I still feel bad, but I felt a lot worse earlier. O sea, me siento mal todavía, pero me sentía peor. I, yeah. I don't ask, mm -hmm. but ask. I don't, I don't feel, después del don va el verbo. I don't ah. feel, I don't feel, uh -huh. I don't feel, as, but. As bad, correct. As, as bad as, as I feel uh, earlier, I you may fell. say. Mm -hmm. as you got I it. Felt you got it. Yeah. Earlier. Nice. Mm -hmm. But right. the six and seven are difficult. <laughs> yes. It says yeah. our neighbors, our neighbors have lived here for quite a long time. But we live here longer. O sea que uno ha vivido más tiempo que el otro. That, that's it. That, that, that's basically. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, but you gotta say our neighbors have lived here for quite a long time, but we've lived here longer. You have to identify who has lived longer in the neighborhood. In that case, is my family. So my family has lived for more time. Okay, than my neighbors. That's to start with. O sea, eso tiene que usted entender, verdad? Descifrar. You know, figure it out. Our neighbors who haven't lived as much time as we, or as we have lived. Just like that. Mm -hmm. tanto tiempo como nosotros en el vecindario. You may say that. So they haven't lived as much as, as, as we have uh, lived in this neighborhood. You may say that. O sea, el, en, en este caso de la palabra as tiene que amarrarse con algo. En este caso es tiempo, right? Que estamos refiriendo el tiempo. That's long time, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, and, and that's why you see this one. In this case, you have uh, three times as much as many bedrooms as we studied yesterday, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right? Like this. In this case, we're talking about bathrooms, right? And mm -hmm. and, and before. You see, you were talking about uh, los dos perritos, uh, Pirulais and the other one over there. So you have to identify what are you talking about. O sea, ¿qué está comparando? Are you, are you comparing the time, mm -hmm. money, your your house, or what? Okay, so that's my point over there. 
It says number seven. I was a little nervous before the interview, but usually I'm a lot more nervous. So I wasn't. Mm, I was. Um, I wasn't nervous. As nervous. As nervous. Mm -hmm. I wasn't as nervous. Uh, the in the interview. I don't know. <laughs> no, primero tiene que ver, but I was a little nervous before the interview. O sea, estaba nervioso antes. But mm -hmm. usually I'm a lot more nervous. Estoy nervioso. Ajá. Ajá. O sea, usted siempre anda con, con los nervios de punta, pero en la entrevista estaba menos nervioso. Es un poco nervioso. Mm -hmm. Ajá. So I wasn't as nervous. I wasn't as nervous as usually. Ajá. You got as it. As usually. Um, in the interview. I am. <laughs> yeah, in the, in, interview. in the interview, as I am. Yes. As I am. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. or, as, or as always, you may say, or, or as usual. It doesn't matter. So, mm -hmm. you, so you don't have to say the whole sentence, but in, in the end, Raquel and Tanya, you have to make yourself understand. Okay, make yourself understood. You have to communicate. That's the point. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So let's go back to the main station, please. That grammar, eh, Tanya, it's a little bit difficult to understand, right? It's a little bit tricky. I can see that. Yes. But don't worry, we don't use it that much. <laughs> yeah, uh, the verb is uh, antes del as, cuando lleva exactly. verbo. Exactly, it's before. Yes, correct. Before. It's before. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got it. All right. Uh, all right. So I promise, I promise to you that in this class, you you were going to be taken. Let me just uh, mute your microphones. Put your foot away. I'm sorry, sir. Sir. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You know, I I could hear the interference over there. So let me let me just share the screen in a different way right now. So take a look at this. Um, let me find the perfect perfect script screen right here. So one second. All right. So this one. So what you're gonna do right now, if you don't mind, please, because we still have like ten more minutes, you're gonna be taking a self assessment. Okay, una auto evaluación de este módulo. I mean, not of me, right? But of what you have learned. So in other words, you're going to be taking the final exam again, but I'm going to share with you the a form. O sea, le voy a mandar un form. Okay. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So let me just one sec. Come over here. And here we go. All right. Found it. Okay. So take a look at this, please. So take a look at this. So as you can see, this is the same uh, final exam that you're going to that you're going to find here in uh, English Corporativo. All right, it's the same exam that you're gonna find in there. It has a listening and it has some other parts. So in this case, you're gonna be cl completing six uh, sections out of this. If you check your WhatsApp, okay. Early, I sent to you, le mandé un audio, un MP3. Can you double check it over there? Can you see if it, if it actually works? Can you see if the, if the audio uh, can be played, please? Only let me download. Okay, so right now it's downloaded, all right. Yes, function. All right, so it's working right now. So as you can see, you're gonna be taking this quiz. It's it's a quiz, as you know, it's the same exam, the final exam, which means that if you get a hundred percent, that means that you have learned a lot in this module, not because of me, but because you have you know done your best over here. And then part number two is the vocabulary. Part number uh, three or C, it's um, not not enough. All right. Okay, part number four 
is as, as many uh, or as much. Number five, expressing wishes. And number six, simple passwords or present perfect. Así que ahorita, what you're going to do right now, you're going to play the listening, okay? And you're going to take this quiz. The advantage of, of this thing is that I'm going to send to you the link, as you can see here, all right? Okay, and this is the one you're gonna be able to open from your cell phones, all right? So you don't need to be using uh, the, the computer over there. Let's see here. Let's see, what's the difference? Yeah, that was the one. All right, here we go. All right, so could you please try to open it and let me know if it, if it works. Let me check. Uh, yeah, work. All right, so right now we have until 9 p.m. to finish this. And then we're, you're gonna be able, you're gonna be able to see your score, okay? Just like this, take a look. Okay. I, I took it before, you know, just to see if it, this actually works. And I did it randomly and it's going to tell you, for example, frequently missed questions. For example, if you need to review the simple present versus present perf, uh, I'm sorry, the simple past versus the present perfect is going to tell you which one you, you missed. And for the listening, for the listening, you're gonna see uh, the correct responses if you got something wrong, all right? So I'm gonna mute my microphone, okay? And please take the quiz, play the listening and tell me uh, if you need something else from me, all right? Es una autoevaluación, ¿verdad? Si usted no ha hecho todavía el examen final de la plataforma, esto es prácticamente el mismo examen. All right? The same thing. Okay. Are we good? So let's try to do it, please. Yeah. Thank you. So go ahead, please. I'll be waiting Tichel, for you. Ahorita, ahorita lo tenemos. Quisiera ver eh, qué, qué puntaje tienen, digamos, si alcanzan a terminarlo. O sea, no importa si lo hacen, digamos, a la carrera, pero por lo menos van a tener una idea si no han hecho el final exam. Y lo, lo bueno de esto es que lo pueden hacer más de una vez. Aquí lo he puesto yo. All right. So that's the point over here. O sea, yo lo que hice fue es hacer el mismo examen, el final exam que está en la plataforma, lo hice en un formulario. So that's what I did.
How are you? We finished already. Yes. All right. Yeah, I can see your responses over there. And let me just look for your name. And he says, all right, let me see. It says individual over here. Did you did you enter your your email or something like that, Edwin? Uh, I believe. I right. don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. I only take the link and, and yeah, answer that. That's okay. And, and uh, what was your score, by the way? O se dice el pecado, no el pecador. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay. You know, that's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Yes. Uh, so if you haven't uh, done the platform, so I encourage you to do so, please. The, it was a pleasure to be with you. All right. By now, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. Okay. So Teacher, remember, I only yes. had a question. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, it's necessary that we end all or exercise for the platform. No, it's because not I only I only end two exams and I I just only set the unidad three and the exams. I'm sorry for that's okay. For but, but but did you get did you get the certificate already? Uh no sé. O sea, la cuestión está que tiene que tener el 80%. Si tiene eso, no hay ningún problema. Ah, ok. So you Thanks. gotta be careful with Teacher. that. Yes, yes. Uh, this day is the last or the... Uh, no, no, right now, the... we're, we're, we finished already. I'm gonna say goodbye and let, that's it. <laughs> 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 yes, Uma. Ya Why no not? hay más clases la otra semana. No, that's it. The... No. No, no more classes. Uh... We're done. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so nice to meet you, everyone. Hope to see you, you know, later on. on, on I would say in advance or something like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that's the idea over here. Yes, so, of course. I hope you have a great day and Merry Christmas, all right? Thank Merry you. Christmas, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. So goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 And thanks for all. You're welcome, Edwin. You're welcome.